So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here in Pennsylvania. I love morning time, I do. I get up early every day. Uh, this morning I was up at 4.30 a.m. I was editing a video and then I had to run out to Home Depot and a couple other places. And I was out there around 7 a.m. and there's nobody on the roads, there's nobody in the stores. It's just a great time of day and you can get a ton of things done first thing in the morning because there's no traffic, there's no nothing. You know, when people watch our videos, we're always out in the woods or down here at the wood yard doing something. We're only probably 10 minutes from Lowe's or Home Depot or Longhorn Steakhouse or whatever. We are right on the outskirts of all the chaos. And I have found, uh, I love the morning time, I do. Get up before everybody else does, get your day started. I already got some firewood cut down here. And next on the agenda, we're gonna saw up some really nice cherry logs on the sawmill. So uh, yesterday afternoon I was down here cleaning up around the mill, kind of getting a fresh start. And I got three nice cherry logs right here. And uh, this will be the first one that we saw right here. This tree was from uh, out in the woods the other day. I did a video. This one I got three real nice eight footers out of it and a bunch of firewood. It was like a big telephone pole out there in the woods. This one had the whole top broke out of it. It was gonna die. And I was glad that I found this one. This is a really nice log. It's not real big. Uh, nice and straight, though. Should make some really nice lumber. I got a nice stack of lumber started right here. There's some uh, red oak there, one piece of walnut. I've got some more walnut right around the corner, but it's right at eight feet long. So I'm going to put a bunch of this cherry on here first. Uh, most of those logs are about eight feet six, and I'll put the walnut on top. And then what I'll probably do is uh, strap this all together, keep it nice and tight. And then I may even haul this up and put it inside the building. Eventually we will be getting a kiln. I'm not sure when that'll happen, but uh, probably sometime here in the near future. And this may be the first lift that goes in there. Wood bunker looking good. All right, this hardly ever happens. Check this out. About 12 and a quarter to the center of the log on this end. But 12 and a quarter on this end. Usually you've got to lift one end up to get that pith centered on the log, but uh, this one's good to go.
All right, the uh, muscle came down to give me a hand. <laughs> you have to leave in a little bit though, huh? Yeah. You're gonna go help a friend? I'm going to help a friend that's having a big Christmas like open house. At their business? Yeah. Nice. Pretty exciting. So this uh, cherry is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Look at that. This is that one, Melissa, that was, uh, the whole top was broke out of it the other day. Oh, yeah. Wow. Ooh, look at that. Would you look at that? That's beautiful. Let's take uh, one more off here, and then we'll flip it 180. Okay. And we'll start making some boards. Okay. These ones right here, I might keep them just the way they are, like that live edge there. The sap wood looks nice actually on the sides and a little bit of bark. I like that. Melissa just complimented me on the, the cleanup down here. I got a ways to go, but uh, it's coming along. Yeah, this was looking a little bit like Sanford and Sons. It was down <laughs> here. It really was. You get all these logs and you pick through them and you do that and they just, I've had a fire going for about a week, just big gnarly nasty things and yeah. You got to get rid of them. Everyone always part. says, oh, I, I could use that. No yeah. one ever comes and gets yeah, it. Yeah, I know. It's going in the fire. Yeah, that's how you be. That's the beginning of steps of a, of a hoarder. Yeah, you don't want to have but be a hoarder in the wood yard. The outdoor, <laughs> the outdoor wood yard hoarder. I yeah. wouldn't uh, get too close to these. They're not okay. going anywhere, but okay. I mean, I just wouldn't sit on them. But uh, okay. just in case, this big one on top will be the next one that I do. But by the signs of it, I'll probably be doing that myself because... Uh, well, you... we'll see what we get done. I can help you. It's... Everybody wants my help, you know? It's just the way it is. I mean... Tell them about the... Uh, we got to do a plug for the t-shirts before we get back. She has been cranking Trust. these things out. I never dreamed I would own a sweatshop, but here I am. I know. Killing it. It's um, it's crazy. I opened up and, and started pressing shirts at 9.30 yesterday and stopped at 9.30 last night and completed over... Um, what 70 yesterday? I was gonna say, yeah, about 70 80 uh, orders yesterday. Every day we haul 40 or 50. I was watching a squirrel over there, oh, running. Okay. I thought it was a deer or something. I thought it was Hunter sneaking up on me. Yeah, every day we haul 40 some orders to the uh, post office. Yeah, I the... have another order I gotta get out. And um, if you're interested in one, there will be a link in the description, but uh, they're real nice. And she's actually coming up with some more designs and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna add a few more, and it's yeah. It's working out so i hope everyone likes their shirts and uh yeah maybe in the future we'll have to have them post a video on, or i mean post a picture on social media and tag us or something like that yeah it sounds good all right i'm gonna fire the mill back up keep sawing So I, uh, I'm real close to the center. What I'll do is stand that on edge and I'll get some uh, three inch wide or three and a half inch wide, whatever it is left out of that. I wanted to get as many wide boards as I can. And we got a really, really nice pile just out of this one little log right here. I never did measure it, but I'm guessing that one was probably 15 inches in diameter maybe. Think, yeah. These ones are much bigger, but uh, beautiful stuff. Now that one, we had a little split in it, huh? It did. This was flapping. Yeah, I was putting some video on the story on Instagram and Facebook. Um, if you just go to our 
Instagram or Facebook, you can click on the circle profile that shares a story that I've been sharing. And you could see when you were cutting the, the tension, like this part was just flapping yeah. towards the end. And you know what happened there? I know exactly what happened. When I cut this log out in the woods, uh -huh. You know, it was a it was a thirty footer or whatever, and I was cutting down through it, and I didn't get all the way through, and it kind of pulled really? down a little bit, and just that little bit split it on the edge. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really hurt what? much. Yeah, but it wasn't too far. Lost just a little bit of wood, but uh, look at that. I mean, smell that. This stuff is just. I know. Yeah, too bad this wasn't smell a. Tube. Smell a vision. Smell a vision. Smell a tube. Nice stuff. It is beautiful. Pennsylvania cherry. I always say it's my favorite, and then I saw walnut, and I'm not sure, but I think Walnut's cherry is pretty. definitely my favorite. Walnut's very pretty. Well, you got to take off here soon, yeah. so uh, I gotta get going. We can wrap this video up, and yeah, then, uh, thanks so much for being here, and thanks for watching and commenting, and all the license plates you've sent us. I'm sending out the last group of thank you cards. Thanks for ordering the shirts just for being here we really appreciate it we are grateful that we built this outdoors with the morgan's community we really appreciate it so if you have a few minutes go to morgan's off the leash that's my youtube channel and it's just some fun things with the dogs the kids and behind the scenes and yeah uh, i'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised but thanks for being here make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you on the next one thanks <laughs>